morning guys welcome to another video today is the hubby's birthday can you believe it it's a thursday morning and um he requested porridge for his birthday boy when you have a husband who is just so easy to please so easy going not over the top just simple love his authentic you know just your hardcore diehard Jamaican food then breakfast for the birthday king is not a bother so today I'm gonna make him the porridge he didn't make any special requests as to what type of porridge so I'm gonna try to make something a little bit different so let me show you guys what kind of porridge I'm making today all right so making some plantain porridge, yes, I already have the plantain peeled, but just to, you know, add a little bit more zazz to it, a little bit more oomph to it, just to make it a little bit more different and nutritious, I'm using some golden beets. So I'm going to add the golden beet to the plantain and make golden beet plantain porridge, golden beet plantain porridge. And it says golden birthday um incidentally it's his golden birthday so the golden beat your fits into the picture perfectly all right so stay tuned i'm gonna just grate this and grate this and then we blend them up and then get the ball a rolling all right and guys you might be wondering why i'm grating it instead of blending it because i have tried to blend it before by just cutting it up and then blending it maybe it's the blender that i'm using but when i do blend it without grating it first it has these um lumps of of um unblended it's like it doesn't blend it really really smooth so when i do go ahead and grate it first and then blend it then i find that it comes out you know perfectly smooth with no lumps I hate porridge with lumps, so that's why I'm doing this. Putting my elbow grease in there and getting it in, and it makes a difference. All right, so let's go in with the beat now. Alright guys, so I, I literally only grated half of the beet and I'm going to just use half because I realized that it's going to probably overpower it if I was to use the whole one. Yes, yeah, so this looks like, you know, a, a very good balance of both the plantain and the beet. So I will leave the other half of my beet to put in my salads, which I often do. Alright, so now we're going to blend this up and get the show on the road. All right, so I have the mixture with some water in my blending cup and then I'm just going to put it onto the blender and start the blending process. Yeah. Start on low first. guys so i have a small amount of water boiling in the pot and now i'm gonna add the the porridge mixture and just start stirring right away to make sure that no lumps are formed right turn on that a little bit yeah it's very important to stir and stir and stir while the mixture is incorporating into the water especially in the initial stages you guys say it look like cornmeal don't look like cornmeal ha 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 we can't trick anybody with this it's not cornmeal guess Pardon? yep and what and cinnamon yeah but why would it have this color turmeric nope <laughs> See guys, we can't trick anybody because him can't even guess what is in it. Please put some sea mass in it. It looks like, like yeah. that's when it when it's cooked because when you it can't cook, cook it. it. 
because right. steam is good for my, my structure. Alright, so see it's that look. Oh, oh my god, I told you it was golden. Golden porridge for the golden birthday. Oh, <laughs> Babe, this is golden beet and planting. That's great. I look like how it, it look. Golden like beet and plant. And look how smooth. Oh, no, man. This is a car, silky. Yeah, man, it looks silky for you. Okay, so now what we're gonna do? Hold on. All right, so now I'm just rehydrating a little bit of coconut milk. And I'm gonna add that to the porridge. Yes, it's unconventional. Coconut milk in plantain porridge is unconventional, but hey, we're going big or go home, right? You know, that's how the five star restaurants come up with all of their fancy recipes. They yeah, just experiment things. and put some, some crazy name to date, and everybody's like, oh my god. So I'm gonna go and say, oh my god, today. <laughs> all right, so. Put in your coconut milk. Don't break a glass, don't worry at it. And then you just mix them in. Oh, guys, I can't explain how silky this feel. You just tell them both. Look, yeah, babe. Look at it. Let me start feeling. Look at it. Oh, baba, baba. The right consistency too. Mm -hmm. You know where you can use to sweeten this? Mm -mm. Some coffee creamer. I thought of it. Because and I'm you do don't it. really want to put like regular sugar. Mm -hmm. You can use like a plant based coffee creamer to sweeten it a little bit. Mm -hmm. So that it not lose the, you know, get darker, you know? Right, right, right. I'm going to do that. And you can tip a little turmeric in it too to maintain that, that nice golden tea. It look like regular cornmeal porridge you now. Mm -hmm. If you add a little tip of turmeric, it will maintain that nice it is. It's nice and smooth, it's really nice. We can't wait to try it. Mm -hmm. All right guys, so I'm gonna spice up the porridge now with your, your spices. I'm, I have some nutmeg here. Michelle, off. <laughs> And I like using, I, I've tried the bottled, ground, already pre-grounded nutmeg, but I don't know. I just like grating it. I think it's more potent. Yeah, because after the, the nutmeg gets aerated for a little bit, it loses, you know, some of the, the this potency. And I have cinnamon. I already had a little bit, bit of cinnamon stick, but you still need more cinnamon. Yeah. And of course, our vanilla extract. Mm -hmm. Green wise, just a little bit because the extract is again more potent than the flavor, regular vanilla flavor. And let's see what that's doing. You can already smell the aroma, it smells good. Mm -hmm. And guys, there's some you know, we're extra. We don't already know, so we're extra, we're extra. So I like to add also other flavorings, extracts. Almond flavor is amazing in porridge. So I'm mm -hmm. going to add a little bit of almond flavor. Just a couple. Um, we call these drops. Mm -hmm. mm. And then anise. Star of anise. Ooh. This one, don't go ham because it's a super duper... And we do have the, the actual herb, the star mm -hmm. of anise, where you can leave it in the pot to, to boil. Like how you put a piece of cinnamon bark in it, mm -hmm. or cinnamon stick, you can put the star of anise in it. So we do have that as well. Yeah. So this, the extract works. Yeah. This put the flavor over the top in terms of, you know, giving it a nice fragrance. Fragrance. When you're making the porridge and the <laughs> porridge of fragrance. Oh, porridge needs sweetness and it also needs savoriness. So I'm using a little bit of Himalayan sea salt. 
You might not understand, but you'll understand when you taste it. And look at tops. And look at tops. It's called umami. It's called your mother. I mean umami. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else, babe? Um, you, you, you're actually sweetening now, or are you allowing it to cook a little bit longer? Just a little bit longer. Oh. You know, the last thing you're going to do is the, is the sea mass gel. Mm -hmm. All right. Porridge is ready, ready, ready. Yes, this is how it looks, guys. I am so very impressed with how smooth and silky the porridge is. The texture of the porridge is just to die for. I'm not sure if it's the, the only thing different is the beet, the golden beet. But I made plant and porridge before and I don't remember it being this silky, but guys, it is the bomb diggity. Yeah. Remember to try this in your neck of the wood. Don't be um, bashful about trying weird ingredients, you guys. Yeah, nothing beats a trial but a failure. All right. So this is the hobby's birthday bowl. Mm -hmm. Golden porridge for the golden birthday. <laughs> yeah, so that's our video for today, guys. Thank you for watching. And if you're not yet a subscriber and you just happen to, you know, come across the channel, just go ahead and hit the subscribe button because we have a whole host of videos in the past and in the future coming for you. All right. Remember, live and laugh, cook and eat. You ever see us at home? Hmm? You ever see us at home? Of course. Okay. Let me grab a spoon. Just a put some pistachio. Pistachio, you know, make my porridge look nice. Mm -hmm. Now he's gonna add a little bit of the plant-based um, creamer. Yeah. To his porridge. Yep. And also, I'm gonna have to add some of this to my porridge. Oh. This is my psyllium. Why did I not know it started with a P? <laughs> yeah, and it's probiotic fiber. Pre and, and pro. Wow. Yeah. And it's um, cinnamon spice and so I'm going to put it in my stuff. Yeah, for my own porridge, nice. And he's adding some sea moss gel to the porridge. And this is my front end lid, sea moss gel. Yes, this particular um, flavor is his front end lifter. And guys, it is uber nutritious. If you have never ever heard of sea moss, or otherwise known as Irish moss, mm -hmm. you need to research it. Has 92 of the 110 nutrients that the body needs. So starting off the day with sea moss, you already, you know, pretty much uh, uh, accomplish most of your days nutritional. Me put a little more. Me like me like nothing of mine. Mm -hmm. Supposed to this a, a tablespoon is good, but you know, me like enough things, you know, because through it, it lift the end. <laughs> You know? And I'm gonna also add a little honey. Like how I make your um, sweeten it with a little bit of honey, not too much. Mm. And this is um organic home grown mm -hmm. right? yeah, man. honey. From the uh, Clark, Clark Family Farm in West Palm Beach. Okay. Come on. Nice, nice, nice. Clark's family farm in West Palm Beach. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's the honey with the with the honeycomb. Yeah. So if you want honey from local source honey, let me know. I'll I'll hook y'all up. <laughs> I'll hook y'all up. Mm. Mm. And the honey is just so amazing. So the sea mass is just basically gonna be gelled into, you just blend into the porridge. May have a couple um pistachios in there already. And it's not sweetened at all, so we can now taste it. Mm. And when we do it this way, 
I don't have to over sweeten nothing. I just, you understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. Put my right amount of sweetener, and this is a plant based sweetener. And I just use a liquor because I don't really want it sweet, and I just want to take out the, the, that bland taste. As soon as I catch a little sweetness in my, my palate, mm -hmm. I don't put no more sweetener. But the porridge is silky smooth, guys. Babes, you, make, you, you bust the place in them. I tell you, you <laughs> You bust the place in them. You understand? You understand? I'm going to leave this for my live because I'm going to live right now. So when them see the video, they're going to get the recorded version. And the other people are going to get the live. Okay. So, well, I'm going to taste again. Jeez, I'm peace. <laughs> they so good, make you want to smack your mama, I mean your wife. No. <laughs> 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 Alright guys, go ahead and give him some birthday shout outs. It's his birthday today. <laughs> good boy. Good boy. It's your birthday. Oh boy. One time for the birthday boy. Ooh, two time for the birthday boy. Ooh, three time for the birthday boy. Hey, 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 hey. Get up. <laughs> Alright guys. Catch you on the next one.